Hey Tubes, Jimbo here. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I don't mind my SpaghettiOs or the coffee. I wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, and I haven't really been posting a whole lot of videos on this channel. I've been focusing on the other channel and um, actually in the last week or week and a half, I've been kind of slowing down. It's been really hot. And I haven't really been able to do anything with the uh, one truck, so I haven't been making a lot of videos and putting it on the other channel. <clears throat> um, I'm kind of waiting on some parts, and I'm actually going to be taking a break from the junkyard truck, and I'm going to be working on this one. Um, this one is the 4BT truck. I need to start uh, pulling the engine out and start resealing it. It's, it's really... Uh, it's there. It needs to be done. So... On the new channel, the Bullford 82 channel, um, this uh, project will continue on over there. Um, but I thought I'd give you guys an update on the main channel here. Um, I haven't, uh, I've got a couple of oddball things coming up for this channel. I wanted to make some videos to get you guys um, some content. Uh, I've got a, I've got a problem with my uh, weed whacker powerhead thing. So I'll probably dig into that and see if we can fix it. I'm hoping I don't have to buy a new one. Um, let's see what else. I've got a BMW 325i, an uh, 06 model, that I'll be doing uh, the brakes on. I believe I'm doing all four wheels. I think that's what my friend wanted done. Uh, rotors and pads. Um, haven't done a BMW, but I looked into it. It's pretty much standard procedure for any other car you might work on. Um, so that'll be coming up. <clears throat> I'm doing that this coming Tuesday, so you'll probably get a video the week after, and it'll be on this channel, because um, I'm gonna keep the, the other channel just down to truck stuff. Um, that was kind of the plan with this channel, but I decided I kind of wanted to start over and just kind of continue on with the truck projects on a just clean slate channel and then this channel this johnson's garage channel will continue on as kind of the redheaded stepchild channel that it always has been since i started posting crap in 2007 um and this channel's just always been kind of you know it doesn't really have a a direction it's just kind of been my uh in some way a diary <laughs> of things that I work on and do and whatnot and there's been a lot of you know random confusion and misleading and stuff like that and I'm trying to just I'm starting over with a new channel and just starting a uh, clean a clean slate you know and a lot of it's you know kind of me so just trying to uh, shore things up a little bit. That's the other thing with the uh, new channel. I'm trying to keep all the videos under 30 minutes. Because uh, I know some of you are kind of, you know, you get past the half hour and it's like, all right, I don't have enough time to watch all this. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So yeah, anyways, uh, upcoming video, BMW 325i. And then um, I've got another, you know, kind of oddball. I'll probably keep it kind of short, like 16 minute video trying to fix my weed whacker um because it's getting kind of annoying i hope i don't have to just buy another one so usually ends up being the case um yeah so anyways as far as videos it'll be real slow on this channel but we've got some truck stuff coming up um i've like i said i'm gonna be well, let's see probably not this coming monday but the next monday i'm gonna start disassembling um, this truck as far as the engine bay goes. I'm going to borrow my parents' pressure washer. So, Mom, Dad, I'm coming over this Monday <laughs> to get the pressure washer. Um, I need to pressure wash the engine bay. We're going to totally degrease it and pressure wash it before we take the engine out. Um, we'll get the engine out and we can start um, taking it apart. I'm not doing a full rebuild or anything. I'm just taking it down to where I can replace all the gaskets um, and it's gonna get a new cylinder head I'm replacing that 
I have a new cylinder head and a full-on gasket kit so really just want to get this engine taken care of uh, because I'm wanting to take this to Idaho in September and I would really like for this engine to be in a little bit better state as far as oil leaks go and maybe even run a little bit better with a, a fresh cylinder head because um, in September going to Idaho uh, my sister's Grand Marquis needs some attention mainly just maintenance and I went out recently and um, helped her fix up the uh, shifter bushing uh, deal that she had an issue with and um, we kind of went over it and I found that it actually has rear air suspension and the uh, airbags are they hold air, but they are degrading and they need to be replaced. It's not safe anymore. So, um, yeah, we got that. Uh, the rear shocks are blown out. It's a 99 with 168,000 miles. It's all original. Uh, so we're gonna put some new shocks in, which I have for my Lincoln Town Car. Unfortunately, I don't have the bill seams that I put in because I just did, didn't have the opportunity to take them out. Should have just had them drop the car off at my house so I could have pulled the shocks out. Cause that's, uh, that's four hundred dollars of in shock absorbers. Uh, that's kind of dumb. Should have kept them. But anyways, uh, I've got you know front and rear shocks for that'll fit this Grand Marquis. Got new airbags, new air solenoids. I've got a new uh, dryer for the air compressor, um, and we're gonna do spark plugs and change out power steering fluid and all that kind of stuff. Maybe even change the training fluid. Um, so the car's going to get basically a 150k service, I'll call, call it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that'll be, uh, that'll come up in September. We'll have a big old series on that and that'll go on this channel. Um, so if any of you guys from the Lincoln, my Lincoln days, um, uh, we'll have a Panther rig for, to work on and have some videos on that. <clears throat> but uh yeah i've been just staying busy working tinkering uh this truck has been giving me a little bit of issue in the last couple of weeks as mainly just the injection pump's been coming loose and i, I think i've got it narrowed down i've driven it two days so far and haven't had any problems um but uh we'll make sure we take care of that nice and proper when we uh put the injection pump back in because that's going to come off uh during the little engine refresh um but yeah so other than that i took the canopy off the back of this because we're gonna go to go to the beach and uh, i wanted to get the top off anyways because i'm gonna do a dump run with this truck the uh, junkyard truck is it's, uh running and driving but that uh, aod um is not happy and even with the you know, I did a video where I drew, I drove it without the throttle valve cable, which is a big no-no. You can really hurt an AOD transmission. Um, but even with it hooked up, it's not shifting right. With or without it, it does not shift right. It will not downshift. It will not um, stay in overdrive. Sometimes it kicks out. And I noticed I got a lot of foam um, in the uh, on the dipstick. I'm gonna check the uh, fluid level. It's full, but it has a lot of foam. Um, so, and it didn't look over full, so I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on. I think it's just time to pull that transmission and throw a five speed in it. So anyways, I need to take everything out of that truck, throw it in the back of this one and go run it to the dump. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of a update on that. Um, let's see. What else I wanted to update you guys on? All right. Well, really, that's kind of it. Um, well, I have one other thing. It's nothing set in stone yet, but I'm, uh, working towards and looking for a, a new place. Um, I don't know, you know, just, it, there's a lot of things that I got to get squared away first. Um, one thing is I've been kind of downsizing stuff at my house right now. I got it to where I have my daily driver and just two trucks. Uh, but I've been slowly kind of getting rid of things that just, 
I don't really need anymore. I had a whole set of wheels and tires for a couple different rigs. I went and put them on the side of the road and just got rid of it. And then I'm going to start going through my garage and clearing that out and seeing what I can get rid of, what I don't need to keep anymore, and start organizing everything and make it kind of neat. I need to do that anyways because I had a couple of rigs to work on soon. Um, I might even be doing a BMW X5 also, so there's that. And then, uh, uh, but yeah, I'm looking for a, a new place, and I've been kind of looking out of state. Um, I won't say what state, but I've been looking at uh, one in particular, and, uh, well, let's just say it's not California. There's a mosquito in here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a place, and so far I've found some homes in another state that uh, I kind of like. Um, and the big determination of, you know, making this happen is acquiring a new job. Um, cause I can't live out of state and then come here unless I lived in Washington. But, uh, yeah, so just kind of looking at some different options. Um, I'm, Oregon just doesn't really have what I'm looking for. Well, they do... <laughs> Some places have the place that I'm looking for, but, you know, they want like a million dollars for it, literally. Um, you know, another state I've been looking at, I can get a whole house with a shop and a giant garage with, you know, a couple acres or more for less than 500 k So, I figure in the next few years, I'm thinking, um, you know, purchasing a home and, uh, well, I'm, you know, I purchased the home after getting a new job, quitting this place that I'm at now. Ain't doing the big move. That's the one thing I'm kind of downsizing because I'm, when I move, we're basically just going to load the trucks up, load the car up and, and just, you know, make a couple of trips and, you know, call it a day. But, uh, that's kind of what's going on behind the scenes. Um, so anyways, uh, Bull Ford 82, I'll leave a link in the description. And then, uh, what was the other thing? Uh, truck stuff, car stuff, and that's uh, pretty much it. I'm gonna post this video. I'm not gonna edit it, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'll post it for you guys. And then uh, check in with you guys later. Gotta go.